It is Monday, August 19th, 9 a.m. We're in the garden. So what I've got here is some red chilies. They're very hot. I gotta get the capsaicin check on these things because I had one and I like had an allergic reaction eating this thing. I almost died. Here's a geranium and a nasturtium. I grew this from seed. These nasturtiums here. Grew these from seed. This is a miniature rose bush. And I got these on eBay from China, Hong Kong. I got these glow in the dark rocks. I hope they're not radioactive because they glow pretty bright at night. And here, I've got some flat leaf parsley. Over here, some sweet basil. Ocumum basilicum, as it is known in Latin. Here, I've just started growing some mint. Spearmint, menta speccata. Over here, we have geraniums, more nasturtiums. Here we got lemon boys, three of them. These are on a topsy-turvy, which my mother gave to me for my birthday. This is my Concadors and Belcampos. They've gotten some sort of disease here. Something's been eating them. I don't know why. I never see any bugs on there. But something's happened to these. Maybe it's because of the water runoff by the eaves trough. I'm not sure. Over here we got Black Prince tomatoes. Black Prince tomatoes here. I already picked two. Gave them to my neighbors. The first two went to the neighbors. Over here we have flame tomatoes. Very large. Orange and yellow by orange, yellow, and red tricolor tomatoes. Over here, cream sausage tomatoes. These, oh no, these are purple plums, sorry. Purple plums. Black, uh, black plum, sorry. Black plum tomatoes. They'll be uh, purple and red. I don't know why they're called black plums, because they're purple and red. Over here we have Sicilian saucers, which I don't know what's going on here. This is getting. This was my healthiest plant in the beginning, and uh, now it's not. There's one little Sicilian saucer right there. Let's go in and take a look. I'm letting it rest because these things get huge, so I'll let it I'll let it rest here, right here. I'll let it rest. And I also got some Kellogg's breakfast tomatoes in here. They're extra large yellow tomatoes. Here are these three plots. These three plots I gave to my neighbor upstairs so he can, uh, here he's got 41. I counted them yesterday when I was sitting in his chair. He's got 41 cherry tomatoes. It's a very good yield. Now, here we got celery, peppers, all sorts of stuff going on. He's got some, some green chilies on there looking good. Over here, potatoes, garlic. That's uh, his wife here with her plot. Uh, here, this is where we keep our compost. Now you have to have a hole in the bottom of the compost so that fruit flies and all those potato bugs and all that kind of stuff can get in there and break it down. My lovely neighbor gave me this little, uh, let's set it back up. There, this little wagon, this little wagon, there we go, of plastic flowers. Isn't that cute? Over here, I've got one butternut squash plant. And it's not doing so well. It needs medical attention. Over here we got blueberries. Blueberries here. One blueberry plant. Some mint. It looks, uh, I don't know, I've never seen this before. It looks like something urinated on here and burned it or something. There's no sun getting here. Here I had a rhubarb patch. It all got eaten by the raccoons. But I got some good mint here. This is good mint. It's going to seed. And that's about it. That's the garden update. Thank you.